Hey everybody, what's up? Leonardo2003 here, and today we're back with a quick video just going over a few little sneak peeks that we got for this week's episode of Rise of the TMNT, Late Fee. So as usual, it'll be airing on Saturday, I believe at 9.30. The simple task of returning a single DVD is complicated by endless craziness in New York. So over here on the official TMNT Giphy page, we got a good handful of GIFs, probably about 10, and they really give a decent idea of how this episode is going to go down. So I'll give a nice little zoom right here, and first we see the turtles jumping off of a dock or some type of an edge of a ledge or whatever, and they're going into some, uh, some pretty mucky looking water, but I'm guessing that's just what New York's water is looking like in this series. So that's all right, and obviously we can tell that the turtles are wearing the costumes that they had from Shell in a Cell, episode 6A, their wrestling outfits. Raph still has his, uh, I forget what we were calling him. It was something Reigns. Was it Red Reigns or something like that? But uh, yeah, so that's the first one. Then right here, it looks like the turtles are going to be going on a uh, cross-map mission when they're swimming. <laughs> Pretty cute little animation there, but... Not really much to talk about. Right here, it looks like the turtles uh, just sneaking around. And of course, they're still dressed in their wrestling outfits. Uh, not too sure what they're up to. They're walking pretty slow, so I don't know if they're just creeping around or what. And right here, this is probably right after that last gif. The turtles see a giant mutant silverfish. Looks like he's about the size of like four of them together or whatever. Because you know how they can kind of... Once you smash them, they break into a few others. So that's pretty cool. Finally going to see the silverfish again. And by the way, guys, I've got a pretty awesome video. I think it'll be out tomorrow. It's going to be pretty cool. It's the five things to look forward to plot-wise for Rise of the TMNT. I think you guys are really going to like it. And I think you guys are going to agree. And right here, we see Donatello. He's sweating something. So, you know, something. time is of the essence or something like that. Donatello is getting worried. Uh, right here, looks like they're underground for whatever reason. Uh, Donatello is uh, showing off the train or something like that. I'm guessing something is going to come out of the train that Donnie created or is on Donnie's side or something like that. Donnie looks like he's got that like hero kind of look to him. Kind of like he knows he just saved the day or something like that. Right here, we see Raphael. I think he was playing with a basketball in another episode not too long ago. Was it the one with Hypnopotamus? I think so. But uh, right there, you see he smashes a basketball really hard, goes right through the heart of the mutant silverfish, and smashes it into, you know, four or five different silverfish. So, pretty cool. Hopefully, maybe we'll be able to get a few more answers on these silverfish, where they came from, or if they have, like, do they, uh, they seem pretty mindless. Like, they're just like rodents that go after trash. So right here, you see the turtles again. It looks like they're about to just smash one or whatever. Right here. We, we, and we keep, oh, you know what? You know why that movie thing, it's like basically a red box? That movie rental thing is the, is the whole thing of this episode. I totally wasn't thinking, but that's been in like all of these gifts so far. And it looks like the guys are like telling Raph, like, slow down, slow down, slow down. And Raph just barely kisses the, the machine enough to knock it over. And right here we see Ghost Bear. Not it, this is the only gift that has Ghost Bear in it, so I'm not too sure how big of a role he plays in this episode. But of course Ghost Bear's in it, and of course they're wearing their same outfits from his episode. But you know, it looks like a pretty cool chase going on. And then another shot of the paddle shell. And take a good look at this. Um, I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like you can kind of see like wizards and stuff. Maybe some type of gathering or something like that. But remember these wizards, because in a few more gifts, there's something that's a little bit interesting. Alright, right here, see Mikey hopping off on a shell hog. It looks pretty cool, actually. That's a pretty cool gif. And another one, we got Raph and Donnie behind the wheel of the uh, turtle tank. I might have just called it the battle shell a few gifts ago, but I meant to say turtle tank. And it looks like they're just going super fast speed. But then in this GIF, maybe they were in the taxi on top of the turtle tank, and that's where they're going at lightning fast speed. Now this is our first time seeing this taxi in action, so pretty cool to see it actually comes off. And I never even know, I know that there was always a taxi um, sign on top of the turtle tank, but I don't remember actually an entire taxi car. 
but obviously Donnie, <laughs> Donnie jacked that car up. And then right here we see Donnie just going to work on something in the turtle tank. Seems like Donnie might be saving the day in this episode, that's the way it kind of seems. And right here, this is what I was talking about, you can't look at this guy and say he doesn't look like Splinter. I mean that robe and everything is the exact same shade of brown that we're accustomed to seeing Splinter wear. But Splinter doesn't wear that like magic hat and he doesn't wear pants, it looks like this guy's wearing pants, but he has like a, a walking stick just like Splinter's. It's weird, it looks like he's African American, it looks like a few people speculated that it might be Baxter Stockboy. Hey, I mean the only reason to go off of that is because he's short and African American. There's really no other way to tell. We're just going to have to wait and see. Hopefully we do find out because it seems like he might be kind of important. Right here, we've got a couple more left. Um, this might be the last one, actually. we got Leo, and he's actually creating a portal using the Shell Hog, which is pretty cool. Well, he's, not, he's got the sword in his hand, but he's using the Shell Hog to make a giant portal. And that, that's pretty awesome. It's good to see Leo uh, getting a better grip on his Mystic Weapon. And I think that's the last one, yep. Alright guys, that's gonna do it. Just a quick little update video, giving you guys a little preview of what's coming this weekend for Late Fee. Definitely, if you enjoyed the video, just uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what your favorite GIF was, tell me how you think this episode's gonna go down, tell me if you're excited about it. I'm really excited about the video that hopefully I can get to come out tomorrow. I may not, it might be in a few days. Hopefully, it does, I can get the video out before this Saturday when I work on the review for Late Fee. We're just going to have to wait and see, guys. But uh, it's going to be my top five favorite things to look forward to for Rise of the TMNT. I think you guys will really agree on my list. I think that it's, uh, it makes a lot of sense, and it is something to get us really excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Just a quick little preview. I'm sure a trailer for the episode, or like they're going to release like a, a minute-long scene, is going to come out in the next few days. But... You know, I already gave a little preview for the episode this week, so this will be my only time covering Late Fee until I do an episode review of it. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and peace out.